in the southern part of Mexico, there's this really famous fish dish called pescado a la talla, where they take the whole fish and butterfly it, cooked over wood fire with a special red chili adobo, really kind of beyond what a lot of us could tackle in the United States, but I've come up with a way to get that kind of dish on your dinner table. And we're actually going to amp it up a little bit by making a green chili and herb adobo as well. But let's start with the red chili adobo. It starts, of course, with ancho powder. Now, this is the dried ancho pod that's been powdered. There's small amount of cumin, a little bit more black pepper, some Mexican cinnamon, or what's called canela, the Mexican oregano, kind of crushed up, because usually you find it in the whole leaf form. We've got some salt here, and then garlic and vinegar that we're gonna talk about in just a minute here. I'm gonna combine all of this in the blender jar and add a cup and a quarter of boiling water. Blend it till everything is mixed. Let that rehydrate for a minute in the blender while we talk garlic and vinegar. I put peeled garlic cloves in a small microwavable dish, cover it with water one minute in the microwave, and that just takes out all that harsh garlic flavor. Of course, I'm gonna pour the water off of that now. And we'll add that to the blender jar. In goes the vinegar, that goes on. And when all of the garlic is thoroughly pureed, I'm ready to put it into a jar that I can keep in my refrigerator. You can bring it out to use as a marinade on practically anything. I love to put it in salad dressing. to make the green chili herb adobo. I started by roasting some serrano chilies along with some garlic. This is the herb part of the green chili herb adobo. I've got two herbs here, flat leaf parsley and cilantro. So our next step is to take the stems off of the serrano and then the papery husks off of the garlic. And now those will combine in the blender jar. This is pretty straightforward with the herbs. I just tear off the top of each bunch and put those into the blender jar, along with a cup of good olive oil. Add two teaspoons of salt and then blend it until it's almost smooth. Just like the red chili adobo, this green chili one can keep in the refrigerator for two or three months. It'll look just this beautiful color of green. Now let's move on to the fish. The fish that I've chosen for this is some beautiful farm-raised rainbow trout. I'm first gonna trim it in a way that they call pan dressing. First cut off the little fins that are at the top, open it out, cut it crosswise just below the head here. I'm gonna cut it right here as well. It looks a little square now, which will make a beautiful presentation. Do the same thing to the other one. I'm gonna grab the oil mister and we're ready to head to the grill. First I spray the flesh side of the fish very generously with oil and sprinkle on a little salt and lay it flesh side down on the hottest part of the grill. In a minute or so, when it's browned underneath, I flip it over, but I flip these fish onto the cooler side of the grill. Then with a spoon or brush, 
smear one side of each fish with the red chili adobo and then the other side with the green chili herb adobo. Close the grill and let the fish cook for a minute or so. These fish cook really fast. Use a spatula to transfer them to a serving platter and you're ready to serve. Just a little garnish of some lime wedges to pile on the platter here. And a few leaves of parsley. And in short order, you can have on your table one of the most elegant fish dishes in Mexico.